Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. A couple of days ago I made a video that I got my new toy, which is Electrolyte, Electrolux uh, Well Q7 Vacuum Cleaner. If you didn't see that video, uh, I posted uh, with a card above, it should pop up in a second. Uh, in that video I explain how I used Dyson V8 and V11 in the last two years, in the last five years perhaps, and um, why I decided to get Electrolux. I'm not claiming that Electrolux is better or worse or different. What I'm trying to say is I love Dyson to bits. Dyson is probably one of the most amazing cordless vacuum cleaners out there. However, the price point is not really easy to swallow and what I wanted to do is to try different vacuum cleaner which three times even four times cheaper than Dyson has good reviews and give my opinion if it's worthwhile to get it instead of Dyson for those who cannot afford Dyson however if you can afford Dyson I believe it's one of the best options in the market uh, my first video was reasons and journey and all of that purpose of this video it's purely unboxing and I cannot test drive it because I do need to charge it first and uh, probably read the instructions. I never used a vacuum cleaner before. I have no idea what's in the box, it's just arrived. So what I would like to do is, as probably you, my viewers, would get it uh, from your delivery, um, uh, from your supplier, from uh, deliver to you and or pick up in the store and kind of go through the journey of how is it different to Dyson. Dyson was quite easy. When I unboxed the Dyson, there was a vacuum cleaner. I connected all together. It was a sticker with the barcode. I scanned the barcode that went to Dyson website, registered my warranty straight away. It was a very seamless process. And uh, to be honest, I'm not expecting anything here. It's a quarter of the price of the Dyson. However, it's still a reputable brand and should work well so without any further ado let's open our box and um uh, i will apologize to, in advance if i stumble uh, with anything in the box because i never unpacked this vacuum cleaner before so i've got no idea what's inside so bear with me let's go through the journey and you may discover something you like or don't like and make your opinion of what vacuum cleaner to buy next if you after cordless vacuum cleaner on the market all right let's start so the, the packaging itself there's nothing special about it everything packaged quite well these days um it's arrived in a compact box it's actually uh too compact for my liking because i picture a vacuum cleaner a little bit bigger device uh, however, let's open up the box and see what's inside. <coughs> All right. <coughs> All right. So there's nothing inside the box. The box is empty itself, and that's what you got inside here. Everything is neatly packed, I guess. Uh, all right, so we've got instructions and warranty. I quickly um, have a look if I need to know anything else before I assemble. Uh, there's nothing really here. Warranty, warranty docket, and it stays the warranty. I've got no idea how long warranty um, they given warranty for. I will read later on i believe it's at least one year um, i cannot see any obvious writing here but it doesn't really matter now that's i guess quick instruction how to assemble it um, all right let's unpick it first so what we've got here is i guess the main body Interesting. It looks like vacuum cleaner 
small vacuum cleaner inside a bigger body okay so everything is packed very neatly yeah look there's a vacuum cleaner inside the shell so what I'll do I'll just quickly unpack and put things aside so this looks like um, the frame of vacuum cleaner itself and it's very neatly packed here all right I'll just slide it back in I guess yeah so that's the main body of vacuum cleaner I'll just put it aside and uh, now what else we've got here we've got I guess the main brush and main brush let's unpack it looks pretty flexible all right so here's the main brush and it looks like it's protected by some sort of uh, coil inside um, press for all clean yeah I actually was reading instructions uh, somewhere online before and what they reckon is when you press the button when vacuum cleaner is working it will cut and clean all the hairs and tangle into the brush I think it's quite good function if it works well but according to instructions what I need to do is click it in as I guess here all right that's clicked in it's looking all right um, next one a handle I think it's that one let's unwrap it uh, it's too much packaging for my like and I guess uh, packaging marked as uh, 04 recycled but I think in most of the recycling bins you cannot put it in and you need to take it to the store uh, look I just unpacked a little bit more than half it's already that many bags there I think they could avoid putting in the bags but it is what it is and let's click it in here all right this is oh, assembles quite well and what's the next one all right the next one is oh what does to do the next one is to charge it where's the charger okay we've got charger here um, what i'll do i'll charge it later and what else we got here i think it's actually a docking station is it docking station i need to read a little bit more but you've got i think i think that would be docking station for sure let's see if there's any anything that resembles contacts all right i'll read the instruction later on uh, so what we've got here is something that looking like a, a docking station and something looking like a charger slider in but next step on instructions would say um, open up and charge so what i'll do i'll charge it and i'll give it first test drive and let you know so far my first impressions um it's not a Dyson. Dyson feels a little bit more solid. It feels more intuitive and it feels like better engineered. But again, Dyson is four times more expensive vacuum cleaner and I still got no impression how good or not so good this one. It looks very well made. Uh, what I like about it, what I don't like about Dyson all Dyson attachments are scattered everywhere so if you need to store Dyson attachments they will be hanging everywhere this vacuum cleaner got all attachments um, kind of inside here I need to still understand how to get them oh no this is how to get them out so all attachments are stored within vacuum cleaner you've got another attachment here so what they did 
um, unlike Dyson, they engineer two attachments to be uh, on the vacuum cleaner. So when you need to change attachment or store attachments, you don't go and look in your um, storage area. That's the big plus. Uh, the other big plus is Dyson does entangle uh, hands and if this function of um, cleaning hair works well, that's the bonus. Uh, otherwise, I've got no opinion yet. Um, thank you so much for watching my unpacking. My next video will be first use and first impressions. Um, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, a like, and that will make uh, my channel promotion a little bit, uh, a, I guess, better. Uh, what I would like to do is to get those um, videos out, videos of non-glamorous, I guess, um, household items that people use and, and um, form an opinion and report about it. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next video.